The views and comments expressed on the following radio program by its hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the views of rmconair.com or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. Never took you for granted, love every second I know you get it from your mama How you learn to love hard, never focused on the drama So you ain't gotta ask, I'ma always keep it real And I can keep a secret, baby, tell me how you feel I'm the real though I got a past and I know you got a past too But we be focused on the future cause it's past due So we don't ever let the outside get to us Communication is key, that's why we stick to us And plan B is not an option Bow to stay down so whatever happens we rockin' it Until the very end, won't break my bend And that's the benefit of spending time becoming love Lovers and friends, let me know some. to walk the journey with me and appreciate my mind so you be learning with me different backgrounds but the same heart so it's nothing in life that can tear us apart we had some non-believers but now they all see us and they all perceive us to be a power couple that's a hell of a start and i ain't tripping i'ma play my part i think i'm ready for it flip flops and black shoes just so simple ain't got a beautiful smile i love that one dimple keep it classy when we out in the streets ain't gotta tell them what you do while we sleep because that's between us my confidant my best friend my better half you know me better than me I pray we make it last And plan to see When we lay in the sheets To watch it grow And make our life complete If you ready Then let me know some. Know some, know some, know some. out there, you Nation Radio family. TV it's your girl, Akila Trené, and you are... Let me try that again. It's your girl, Akila Trené. Thank you, Chris. And you are tuned in to another night of Monday Night Love Sessions. We are still in Black History Month, so Black Power. Uh, my, y'all can't see it, but it says my black hair is beautiful, I think. You think? I think my black hair is something. Why don't you stand up so that they My can see black it. hair is here, everybody, on the show. But it's not about me. It is about it's you. It's about Cameron Davis, who is to my left. Hi. I can't hear myself, so if I'm we talking... We can hear you. Then, I can hear you. I'm, that's good. I can hear myself, <laughs> like, I'm talking about in my headphones, but welcome, Turn everybody. Turn him up in his headphones, Chris. No, the headphones need to come on. Okay. Um, but yeah. Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, it's Monday Night Love Sessions. We are here. Um, I don't know what music is playing, but hopefully I'm rocking to the beat. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> she was like, I didn't hear no music too. What you mean? Um, I hear it. Like, what do you mean? But yeah, 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 yeah. So hopefully everybody had a good weekend. It's Monday night. Um, we got a nice show for you up coming tonight. I think I said that right. Um, but first I want to get into our sponsors. First up, we have <laughs> Clean Green Music. That was just his new hottest single called Let Me Know. Yes. That he just like dropped that like one. this week. Shout out to uh, Clean Green. On and um, yeah. Check there him out on Facebook. And uh, we also have Artistic Web. Shout out to Spider Lope. Shout out to my daddy, though. Up in the yay area. Oh, by the way, because we never really say it, but I mean, maybe it's implied. He is a photographer and he does do graphic design. And he makes shirts. And he makes shirts. And he cooks. And 
He could. <laughs> <laughs> just, he, he got don't. all the professions in the plugs. He don't cook. But there is a light. But maybe that's him. Daddy? No. Just... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, we got the sponsors. Um, also, um, no, I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to shh. <laughs> what? Shoot it over there to um, my boy DJ Reed in a place to be. Hey, yo. Uh... <laughs> no horns, though. <laughs> okay. I can't hear it. Good evening, this is Monday Night Love Sessions. I am your boy, the one and only DJ Ree. Go ahead on, on all of our social medias, Facebook, U Nation Radio, Twitter, U Nation underscore radio, Instagram, U Nation Radio, Periscope, the same as Twitter, U Nation underscore radio. See what we're doing during the breaks. Um, also, we got our website at the U Nation Radio dot Wix, W-I-X dot com backslash M-N-L-S. Connect with us there. You can watch the show there too and get on the chat board and join the conversation. Also, if you want to call in, go ahead and call in at 323 965 And I'm sorry, on? I growled because I thought that y'all couldn't hear me growl because <laughs> I can't hear myself. We can hear you though. Oh, that's All those classic. Uh, but yeah, so. <laughs> What's so oh funny? My, because... Oh my! I haven't seen you guys in two weeks. Where you been? No. Me and the wife just needed some time to ourselves. There you go. I had to take care of the home and just me and the wife. Did you take care of Valentine's Day? Yes. The Dope. kid was away for the weekend. And we just went out. I think we stayed up in the Sherman Oaks. Then went to a cool little comedy show out in Burbank. Um, over at Flappers, went to go see my boy Keon Poli. Who was off the hook? He was on tour with uh, Tony Baker and uh, Keenan Baker. Who is uh, Tony Baker? What is he? Is that is that the light skin dude? Ball yes, light skin dude? Yes. Oh yeah, yes. he's funny. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they're supposed yeah. to be coming to our show pretty soon. Yeah. He's um, funny. Right right now they're out on tour. They just hit up New Mexico and they're about to go out to uh, Japan. Mm. So um, next week Why? I have a uh, Keon shirt it says "Wait before you say no." So I have that next week. But yeah, it was a cool show. Shout out to them for a great show. So. That's what's nope, up. Nope. Well, I would just like to say that since we haven't been together, I've been busy. Um, yes, I saw that picture with yes. your books. I, I thought it was going to take longer than Cooking what it did. I came home and it was just like a bunch of boxes on my doorstep. So I was very excited about that. I finally got through all the editing and all the revisions and all of that stuff. And so now it's official. I have all the books, and it will be available April 1st, okay, on Amazon.com. Nice. Kindle, I gotta do that. I need to, that's my homework. Yeah, you need an ebook. That. And uh, no, it's definitely gonna be an ebook. Yeah. So definitely. you'll be able to download on Kindle. And um, of course, then you can come to my book signing event that will be on April 1st in Oakland, California at. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Crate in downtown Oakland. So if you're in the area or if you're not in the area and you want to do a road trip. So wait, are you having a book signing down here as well? Or I am. I am going to have okay. one down here as well. But, you know, I got to give love to Oakland first. Um, okay. And plus the story is set in Oakland. So, I mean, that's beyond the hurt for those of you who don't know. Hashtag beyond the hurt. If you do put that, you'll see, like, all my stuff on Instagram. Facebook. Yeah. And I have a website too. I'll give it to you when it's ready Jesus. to launch. It's under construction right now. I can hear myself. I can hear you though. <laughs> All your commentary, I can hear. Oh, get don't mind me, please. We don't you guys, know where Detroit is. You guys know that I'm crazy, so Send I'm going to be. Send up your prayers for him that he makes it safely tonight. Traveling, Grace. <laughs> yes. For that man. Please. I'm good, Chris. I appreciate it. And uh, we have uh, a special artist spotlight today. We have. Mr. C5 in the building. I'm going to tell you more about him in a minute. But Shout out then, to the Toros. He's a Toro. Sorry. You know, the Toros not, not is the, Montera not, High School in Oakland. And I'm talking about we CSUDH toros. toros. Shout out to Oakland. <laughs> Shout out to Carson. Cal State Dominguez. <laughs> toros. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah. yeah. Oh, I live my <laughs> Hey, speaking of our spotlight, I'm doing something different tonight. I'm playing all the music, uh, original music tonight. 
original. You got some music that you working on? Not yet. Okay. Coming soon. Great. Coming you working soon. on music? Yes. You had it. That's not your friend because you ain't, ain't told you about oh, your we, music. We, oh, <laughs> we don't want to rehash that conversation. Okay, I'm not even going to ask any questions. Yeah. Not on the air, I'm not. There you go. Let that ride today. Let me ride. So today, we're going to be talking about a, a couple of different a things. A plethora. <laughs> Just so you know, because a lot has happened um, since we haven't been together. And then just in general, just a lot is going on in the world. Um, I went to a conference um, that was talk. It, the the title of the conference was Violence and Prevention, and it was just talking about basically um, just all the violence that's going on in LA. I didn't know that LA was pretty much the gang capital of the world. Um, so I learned a lot of stuff, but then at the same time, it kind of frustrated me and made me upset. Just as somebody who works in Thank education. Because there's there's a lot of craziness going on in our world. Uh, we know stuff is going on in Chicago as far as um, you know deaths and killing. Not to mention police brutality and killings. And um, so it's a, it's a lot of stuff going on. So I do have some things that I would like to get off my chest. Speaking of Chicago, have you seen that Spike Lee movie? I have not seen Chirac. Um, it was good. It was good. I heard otherwise, but I want to go see it for myself. Yeah, I would like to see it for myself as well. I heard that it's pretty over the top. It is. Um, but <laughs> so, yeah. I believe yeah. that he's just trying to uh, bring awareness and send a message. And somebody in the background is shaking their head like, nah. It's too much. <laughs> okay. okay. He said, come on, brother. <laughs> We'll bring back the old spike. Now, I don't. I had, like I said, I haven't seen it, so I don't know all of what has went on within it. But a lot of people that I talked to, they were like, you know, you can probably wait for it to come out on bootlegs. And I was like, well, I get bootlegs anyway. But <laughs> I, I, no, like, our I movies, I'll, 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 I'll go support it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not mad. At that. Yeah, I, just just off GP. You know, if you want if you want to check it out, it's on Amazon. It's on, it's on Amazon. It's on Amazon. That's what I saw. On Amazon. Amazon. Oh, you mean like a like free for site, like just to watch? Yeah, they got video on, video on demand. Oh. Do you have to be like a subscriber? Yeah. Okay, and while you're on Amazon, you can get my book Beyond the Hurt. Wow. Uh, I'm just. <laughs> okay, so I'm building my website, and you, like I said, my bow ties will be coming soon. <laughs> Indeed, I have some new material that I'm working with, so please look out for me. Cameron David Collection coming soon. Selfish plug. <laughs> now you can go and do whatever you want to talk about. What'd you guys do for Valentine's Day? You two. Man, uh, we didn't do nothing together. Right, <laughs> <laughs> like the way he put you it two. out there, like, what y'all do? Um, I was sick. Actually, I had the flu. Mm. Um, the whole weekend, I literally, it was a four day weekend for me, no school Friday, no school Monday. I was in the bed. I went to Kaiser on Sunday. Almost passed out in the pharmacy. The lady was like, are you okay? I was like, no, I'm not okay. I was ever taking everything in me not to fall out, but I would have been fine because I was at the hospital already. But I just didn't want that. I didn't want that look. It's a good mentality. Like, I'm going to just fall out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me. Take me into the emergency take, portion. Jesus, take the wheel. But, um, yeah, so I was, I, was, um, I was down for the count. And it was, I mean, hey, it happens that way. Lucky I didn't do that. But I got some, God he darn. Said, he said lucky, lucky from, ah! Yeah, he was like, right. oh, man. Saves me. But, but he made me too. some soup from scratch. Soup? What kind of soup? Chicken noodle soup. The best. Chicken noodle the soup. The best part of waking up. That was, that was up. very nice. Oh, I didn't do nothing, man. I was in the house, too. What'd you do, Chris? <laughs> Nobody That's did nothing terrible. on that. terrible. Well, I look at it like this. If you're in a relationship, uh-huh. you show love for that person. Ah, that sounds like a cop out to me. Okay. Okay, I'm just playing. Go ahead. As <laughs> and I'll repeat, <laughs> you 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 do things on a daily. Like it is nice to want to take your special mate out and spoil them on that special occasion, but yeah, I mean it's not necessary all the time. I don't feel like it is. Every I, every Valentine's year, I mean every every year for Valentine's, you expect yes. something. <laughs> yes, I think that it's important. The media has got you. I think that it's important. The <laughs> same way. The media no, the has same got way you we celebrate every other holiday. I like, don't. <laughs> I don't celebrate Christmas anymore. 
Um, well, Christmas is every day. You know what I'm no, saying? No, it's not. You it niggas do be. not get gifts every day. No, I'm, no <laughs> but a, Christmas you cannot isn't about eat gifts. Christmas and it's Valentine's about Jesus. Day. So what I'm saying is, it's supposed to be every day anyway, right? Thanksgiving should be every day. You yes. should be thankful every day. You might, you might not eat as good as you do on Thanksgiving Day, so that don't mean that I'm not going to celebrate Thanksgiving you, you every are, year. You, you are gonna correct. Every year. You are you are correct. So that's all I'm saying. But Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm and you don't even, you even know, but money. do you even know the history behind Valentine's Day? It doesn't matter. Wait, first, do you know it's the history? Consumer's do you day. know the history behind Valentine's Day? You tell day? us, Saint Valentine. Tell us about it. I don't want to, but Why? you don't know. <laughs> so that lets me know that I you do need to know. do your research but because so you wouldn't you be celebrating it if you did. Everybody, what am I celebrating? I'm not gonna talk about it if I don't know fully okay. all the details. <laughs> so, like I said. <laughs> Uh, oh my. But no, I it's just like I said, I've, I have I have done things on Valentine's Day. This year I did not. Is that okay for you, Siki? <laughs> what? Did, okay, so you were sick in the bed. What did he, all you all you got was soup? <laughs> <laughs> got it. No, no. <laughs> No. no, I mean it was. It what was did you a, do for him? It was or did simple, you use your sickness as a? As it was an a excuse. simple day. Well, so I like I like to give gifts. So you I got a card giver. and I got him some cologne that I thought smelled very nice. What cologne was it? And it I don't know how to say it, but it was something out of Sephora. Oh. Less something 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 that smelled good. Okay. So this is what I learned though. What did you for do? colognes, there are these different scents, right? And they, it's like a grassy scent. And I was like, Earthy. well, what is grass? No, Woodsy. she called it grassy, yeah. Mm -hmm. But then I smelled them, and it did smell like grass. Like, yeah. I was like, okay, that's weird. Um, and then, and then there was fresh like scents, fresh, like flowers, right? You know? And, and you which are musk, those are better? Are and oh God, those are not the good strong, at all. Spider Loke. They call it manly. They call it the man. Spider Loke. Like, I'm asking about it. You got that, what, is that old, old school spice? Brew? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I use old spice deodorant, but not cologne. But old spice smells bomb. But well, brute. Old I'm spice sure is like Spider Loke got a bottle of brute, brute in it. Brand old spice. No. My daddy used old spice. Cologne? I don't. I don't know. You can uh, clarify, Daddy. I know it's all spice. <laughs> I'm sure it's like maybe shaving cream or deodorant. Oh, okay. I've never heard of old spice cologne. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good scent to be walking around. With. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I'm still a little sick. You, so you Don't come judge here me. Sharing your germs? Yes. Cause Jesus Christ. You know they you know, say once you give it, you lose. You it. work with kids. You know you're not supposed to come to work sharing your germs. I have an office, so if they come in my office, they come in at their own risk. <laughs> Craziness. My this principal comes this in is sick, not your office. deathly sick every day. Yeah, I hear you. He will not miss a day. You know my <laughs> dedicated. Huh? There he is will some... not miss a day. I just gotta get rid of this conversation. Let's do yeah. Sickness. I'm not claiming that. What? But never mind. It was but um I do have a, a stupid video for tonight. Is that what we're going to now? We're going to yeah, a break. Yeah, let's go on. So we can get I want to our artists. Quick, let's do the stupid video and then we go to our break real quick. Okay, that's, do that's what fine. you do, DJ yeah. Bree. That's why I want to get that out the way. Um, what was trending? Yeah, this Golden Girls Gospel Remix was trending for a few, about a couple months ago. And we didn't know who did it. And we didn't see, hear the whole thing. But I found it. Well, I saw it on Facebook. I found it. And I, it's funny everybody who, everybody who I showed it to was just on the floor thank you for being a friend oh, oh, oh yeah travel down the road back again hey so we started from the bottom now we're here girl oh yeah pal and a confidant this is my butt right here Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he killed it, though. Hey, yeah, that's just... my mood right now. Jesus. <laughs> he sounds good, though. He did. He did. He, he, he hit some nice wins. I, I, I give him that. That wig got to go. 
<laughs> Look at this nigga's face. <laughs> He's gotta go. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is we're going to go to a nice little break. Uh, hopefully you guys tune in. Please call me. What? <laughs> right now. You know I'm not calling. Sorry. 323-965-1600 is the phone number. 323-965-1600. You can reach us um, here right My now. My caravan. And what? <laughs> you are <laughs> retarded. <laughs> uh, okay. DJ Reed, what you got up for us? Uh, one of our former artist spotlights, uh, Jay Skis. From, Jay uh, Skis. I remember that. Yeah, day. New York. This is uh, great. Uh, how could you judge me before you knew me and mean it truly? Talk to me ruly, I'm young and black, my life ain't a movie But I stick to the script, I bring my lessons and gifts I ain't stressing a bit, yeah, y'all on the edge of my dick Hear about it and I'm the type to laugh Y'all get frightened fast, shit to measure my movement You need a seismograph How could you not embrace your brothers and wanna help each other? It's like we wanna shine like lightning but scared to face the thunder Maybe it's cause nobody had the perfect plans yet Or maybe cause nobody hid them in the man yet I bust it like hands of biscuits to make them grand stretch like Pillsbury, hear me niggas, your man's next With or without y'all, my plan's forever to represent My mama told me not all will agree with your intents And hence I see why they hating, it's Nathan, no offense With me, you clashing with titans, you more Toyota dense See, my ambition will distance me from my opposition Us being one and the same, I'm in the opposition I just stick to the real, I'm not in tune with the fake I stand in tune with my fate, although they said I'd never be great they said I'd never be, they said I'd never be, they said I'd never be, great, great, great. But then I'm lying. But I can't be held to they can trace I'm a witness race and I won't go stop, see I know okay. Face that hate, give no complaints, get shot my dreams, I scope my trace. But then I'm lying. Because they said I'd never be, great, because they said I'd never be, great, because they said I'd never be, great. Because they said I'd never be. Uh. They moving back with some fools of loot in the foolish patterns. And now that 2012's over, they'll come with new disasters. It's due to dapper, practice morals, that's truth to trappers. Stay on my hustle, processing numbers. Hewlett Packers, some dudes are after the proof. Sadly, the truth is scattered. Some dudes combative, you challenge, they are shoot the attackers. Ragged, rugged through our republic, we running like fuck it. Law and law be long on with the rules that can touch them. Bound by the bounds of bone and blood through your open consumption. Bound by the bounds of boxes blasting with purchases come. I found this eye, my pocket's parched when I'm thirsting for something It talks so cheap, how dare you tell me what's worth a discussion On the verge of jumping, see I'm close to the edge We need a wake-up call, they give us folders instead See I stick to the real, I'm not in tune with the fake I stay in tune with my fate, although they said I'd never be Great, they said I'd never be They said I'd never be They said I'd never be Great, great, great but then I'm lying. But I can't be held to they can trace I'm a witness race and I won't go stop see I know okay. Face that hate, give no complaints, get shot my dreams, I scope my traits. But then I'm lying, I'm lying. Because they said I'd never be great. Because they said I'd never be. For those that said I'd never be, do this especially. See, they rhymes be easy to get, just like elective bees. The ten of G's with the reckless effort of finna skis. Slay them in order, them play it softer than heaven's breeze. Fountain the youth in the booth, I'm drinking from heaven's springs. My raps to slap them, then handicap them like special needs. Who needs belief when you breathe and bleed in your season dreams? I give my all for 16s, pristine is how I seems. And I read different like kings, written Stephen King lyrics, perceive it, then you receive visions. I breathe merit the Jared that every queen cherish. He who brings spirit is skis whenever he's near it. I sling fair into everything. My scene scares him. Keep staring my son in the face. My degree's near it. See, I stick to the real. I'm not in tune with the fake. I stay in tune with my fate, although they said I'd never be. Great. They said I'd never be. They said I'd never be. They said I'd never be. Great, 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 great. But 
But then I'm lying. But I can't be held to they can straight. Someone win this race and it won't don't stop. See a note, okay. They say, hey, give no complaints. Get shot my dreams. I scope my traits. But then I'm lying. I'm lying. Because they said I'd never be great. Because they said I'd never be. And we're back. And we are back. And I'm about to jump right into it. What you know about that? Chris Presley, better known as C5, is a hip-hop artist and vocalist from none other than the best city on earth, Oakland, California. Jesus. Currently a senior <laughs> at Cal State Dominguez Hill. He cites his sounds, influencers are Drake, J. Cole, and Jay-Z. Releasing his third solo project, Dorm Flow 2, which is preceded by Five Matic and Dorm Flow, respectively. C5, praised for his lyricism, flow, and writing ability, has collaborated with several prominent artists from his region, including Blast Holiday, HD of Bareface, Burner, and more. Dorm Flow 2 is a refinement of C5's abilities as he serves as a continuance from his transition, a self-proclaimed street soldier, to an evolved young man excelling in higher education. Used to run the block with the hammy, now it's obsolete. That's by Proud. You Nation Radio, Monday Night Love Sessions family, please help us welcome to the show for the first time hey, by way hey. of our sponsor, BJ, Mr. Clean. Please welcome C5. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Having me. Excited to be here? Oh, most definitely. Most Thank definitely. you. Thank you for uh, stopping by. And shout out to Clean for um, uh, referring. Oh, yeah. Shout out Clean. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Clean. Yeah. That was really? him on the first song. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Hot, hot. And what's crazy is I just met C5 today. I don't know everybody from Oakland, but it just happens that way mm-hmm. that Oakland attracts. You know what I mean? It's, it's <laughs> love. It just attracts. Most definitely. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> And good, Detroit's not here to be a hater. So, well, don't do you do? Do you want me to start? No, because I'll, I'll you know I'll step in for the both of us. Uh, I can uh, handle that that Libra weight. No, you good? I'm okay. sure you will. Got you. You don't nah. need permission. Cool. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna hate, man. But we, um, what's up? Oh, nothing much. We got some do. things in common, yeah. Oh, uh, Dominguez. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Education. <Girl. laughs> Education. Yeah. So, um, what are you majoring in? Uh, digital media. Digital media. Media arts and a Spanish minor. Okay. What you know about the Spanish? Uh, Quito. He <laughs> was <laughs> in Spanish. Right. That's what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to. You were supposed to say it in Spanish. Right. But I didn't. Mm. <laughs> oh, you Stop speak Spanish too? I, I, she doesn't. That's why she said it. In <laughs> I do. I I can totally understand it. Oh, word, word. I just when it comes to speaking it, that's where I get a little hesitant. Mm-hmm. But um, are, are you aware or do you know about the um, male? Success Alliance. I'm a I'm a member. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Because exactly. yeah. we plan on bringing some. Well, not we. I'm not going. We're gonna have a male um, chaperone to mm. go, but we're bringing some of our boys up to Dominguez next week. Oh um, yeah, uh, Spring Friday. Summit. Uh-huh. I'm actually performing there. Too. Okay, yeah. that is awesome. Well, I hope you do well because I won't be able to see it. I'll tell the boys oh, yeah. to record it and then I'll ask them feedback on how you did. Oh, what's that? What's that? So, what is this event? Like, what is it? Uh, Male Success Alliance. It's hosted by the Male Success Alliance, and um, it's a it's a male initiative. So it's gonna be like 800 young males from middle and high school. Oh wow. And um, it's gonna be like different workshops and mm-hmm. different motivational speakers up there. That's just dope. Try to give them some motivation and raise some awareness about college. And when is that? Uh, March fourth. March fourth. At what time? Um, eight to two. It's, it's on campus. Yeah. <laughs> eight to two. Eight to two. I may have to make an appearance. Yeah, you, me, should. Yeah, you should. You should. It's dope. Yeah. Because our boys need. So something. what? Um, what uh, inspires you to do music? Uh, what inspired me? Uh, the Lil Wayne, to be, to be <laughs> honest. Lil Wayne? Like, the, the, wait, but the old Lil old Wayne. Yeah, yeah. Squat up. Uh-huh. <laughs> Squat. Yeah. Hot, hot, yeah. hot boy. Lil Wayne. That's me and the homies used to be amped up off him, and I just like, man, let me try it out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I made my first song, and felt like I found my niche, so I just kept it going ever since. Yeah. What, was your, what would you say is your favorite Wayne song? 
favorite Wayne song? Probably, um... Or actually, okay, let me... Think of that. I'm gonna ask you what your favorite Wayne album is first. Oh. In this song. Oh, Carter 2? Carter 2? <laughs> oh, Any me, Wayne Carter. fan will tell you that the Carter 2 is more than likely, hands down, his greatest piece of artwork. Carter 2, oh, me. <laughs> greatest piece of artwork. Like, that's my workout... That's my workout. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't work out unless I listen to the Carter Two. Carter Two. Cannot. Five. It's like one of those things that gets you pumped up. So. Yeah, but just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you all right with me? You you came in you here. Passed the test. <laughs> you passed. The test. <laughs> you passed. You got no more questions. You got no more questions. You went to the school. You like Wayne? Favorite <laughs> album? You good, man? You good in my book now? Um, so C five, right? Mm-hmm. I assume the C's for Chris. Uh huh. The five. Oh, uh, the, the block I'm from, from 59th Street. Oh, North yeah. Oakland. That's North where North. my grandma from. Oh, 59th Street. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, Bushrod Park. Yeah. So. Or is she from 51st? I don't know. <laughs> Spider look, text her and get her straight. Text her right now. Get her straight. Text but no, right 59th. I, she's from 59th. That's funny. Okay. Okay, so, um, we have some tracks. Oh, right? Yes. Oh, actually, tell us about your uh, project, Dorm, uh, Dorm Flow. Uh, the, the first one, Dorm Flow 2. Which one? Both. Tell us about both. Oh, so, um, all right, so Dorm Flow 1 was, I was already in college at the time. It was like my first, I was making that between like my first and second year in college. And, um, I was from Oakland, so I didn't really know anybody. That's yeah, just a neighborhood neighbor. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it just comes over. <laughs> yeah, but, um, you know, I, I didn't really know anybody. I didn't have any family out here. So all I would do, i just go to class and then go back to my dorm and just record. Oh. Huh? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Just go to my dorm and record all day. And, um, yeah, from there, I, I came with the project. And then I used to work in, I was a custodial, actually, in the, the, Mingus? In the LSU, I right? I the same thing. I work? <laughs> oh. uh, hey, who, who was your um, supervisor? Um, he's probably not there no oh, more. You, you, it, was a, it was a short, fat dude. Well, not short, fat. It was a fat Hispanic dude. Oh, okay, um, okay. But, because they, they changed the administration and all that up there. But I used to work um, at the student union there and then in the dorms. I lived in the dorms. I worked did the custodial stuff oh. up there too on the summertime so I got the hook up so oh, yeah. it was a, it's, it's love in college man you can come up on so many streams of income for real <laughs> hey I love Dominguez man for real oh, yeah oh yeah but um, like I was saying um, yeah I would just go back to my dorm and just record and uh, how, I, how I got the name I just called it what it was like dorm flow yeah and Keep it simple. On me. Yeah. But everybody seemed to grasp grasp to it. And like I was saying, I was a custodial, so um I printed out like I got like five hundred CDs printed and uh pressed and then I I used to be pushing my cart, just giving out <laughs> CDs, yeah, just just the random people. And then like as the weeks went by, I see those people again, they'd be like, Oh hey, they just fire you. Mm-hmm. And that's kinda how I made my name at Dominguez with the Dorm Flow One. And then um, I came with the the dorm flow two to finish it off. Uh, man, I just did a lot of growing between dorm flow one and dorm flow two. I feel like it's a lot more relatable and a lot uh, like real positive, you know, and inspirational. So I, I really like love this project. I call it an album because it's all original beats on it. And um, yeah, yeah, I feel like it's my best work. Yes. Yeah, so, and, and that's dorm two. Dorm, dorm flow, flow two. two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is your message? What's my message? My message is, like, anything is possible. You could, um, don't let your circumstance, you know, right now, or where you at right now, dictate your future. You know, you could overcome anything. Yeah, that, that's that's the message I got, you know. Cause perseverance. I came, perseverance. Perseverance, yeah. definitely. Growth. Like, I came I came from the streets, and <clears throat> now I'm at Dominguez about to get my, my uh, bachelor's degree. So I want to know that story. Like, if you... Could sum it up. You're from North Oakland. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what your high school story was. I don't know if college was always, you know, in your sight or uh, mm-hmm. something that you were always able to know that, okay, I'm going to be able to attain this. But, like, now, being in college, being a senior, like, what's your story? Like, how I got to college? or how but I mean, like, what's what's your story? Because you just said, like, you came from the street. Oh, yeah, I got you. And, gotcha, you know, gotcha. now you're able to be in college. But, like, that's always the piece that most people 
uh, miss. I know, especially, like I said, working in education, mm-hmm. um, I work at a continuation school. So yeah. most of the students there are not necessarily looking at college, mm-hmm. you know, because they know that they don't necessarily have the requirements to go straight to Dominguez Hills, yeah. you know. But I, like I said, I don't know what your story was, like if you oh, were able man. to just go straight in or whatever you had to do. But there's obviously, there's always a story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. And you came from Oakland, so. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. So, um, so basically, <laughs> from jump, like mom's always instilled in me, like, oh, you, you got to go to college, you got to get your education. So I always had in my mind, like elementary school. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to um, I'm gonna go to college in L.A., you know, because I knew this is a city of opportunity. So I was saying that all the way till now. And um, so, yeah, I got to high school and I started uh, indulging in, like, gangs and stuff. But, like, I always, always had my grades up, you know. Like, I go to school and then go to the block right after. But I always had my shit done because I knew I wasn't be trying to, you know, be doing this for the rest of my life because it only lead to two places. And I seen that. But I ended up getting real deep in it. Um, I went to jail. I caught a case. And um, around the time I was supposed to go to college, like I'd already applied for college, went to jail. And then um, I was, uh, I got out and then I violated my probation. So I was supposed you to had go to back. Go back in. Yeah, I was supposed to go back in for six months. But I was supposed to be going to college like, in the, in that, within yeah. that six months. Yeah. But um, the day I was supposed to turn myself in, I got a letter in the mail from Dominguez saying I got accepted, and I took that to the judge, and she overruled the DA and my wow. probation officer. So that's I was, a blessing, man. Yeah. yeah. See, that's the story. That's <laughs> right. That's the story. story. Right. You know what that's that? the story right the story there. Right it's, there. It's so much that happened. I, I tried to uh, condense it down, but yeah, that's the story right there. And then ever since, I just been on the straight and narrow, and um. Yeah, so like that's what I was saying. Like you could you could turn that shit around. Right, exactly. That's real. why anything. It's all in your mind. And all that real. is possible yeah. because you know. Exactly. What I mean? You know things gonna derail you, but you just gotta always see. Right but you on. said you said something. You said something that hit me where it's been in your brain since elementary. Like yeah. you knew where your destination or where your goal was, no matter what obstacles you know women, gangs, whatever the case may be, you got to where you needed to be, um, which is here right now with us. Hey, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. right. so, you know what I'm saying? And with but, that, I need you. Mm-hmm. Now, I like to put people on the spot because it's also recorded. I need you to come to my school yeah. and talk to our boys. Oh, yeah, I'm down. Okay. I'm down. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm an academic mentor at Bethune Middle, so. Okay. The, through the Male Success Alliance. So. Because we were just talking about just having people to come and speak to because, like, the morale, the motivation is real low right yeah. now. And, like, the, the thing that I was saying, you know, even before we brought you on, like, it's a lot of violence going on. It's a lot of stuff going on in the streets that I don't necessarily know about, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm not necessarily connected to, but I know that it's hindering some of our boys from doing what they need to do, from getting to school, because maybe they don't want to leave outside the house because they got to walk through five, six different blocks with yeah. five, six different gangs, and they're like, I'd rather just stay at home. Like, I've heard stories from them saying, you know, they get... Um, Preston, what's the other thing called? Bang dong, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I like on their, like, well, on their way well. to school, but you, you don't know him anyway. I didn't know he was going to the store. So they showed this map, right, of, of uh, I think it was 77th Street area mm-hmm. um, of L.A. They showed all the Bloods and the Crips, right? You know, not that many, but they showed them in like squares. Then they showed all the Hispanic gangs. Like, it was like 10 times Mm. as many. And I was like, wow, I didn't really realize it was that many gangs, but they far outnumber Mm. the the blacks, the bloods and the crips. They far away. And I was like, wow. It's a a lot of them. I think that they would. (laughs) We're kind of like a minority to them in this area. And they actually target African Americans more than African Americans target them. And I was like, dang, that's crazy. Mm. That it is. Wow. That is. But I mean I I, I wouldn't put it past them in like and you saying about the gang capital, I mean it seemed like we I'm not gonna say we created gangs <laughs> but I mean it's a gang literally on every street. I didn't realize that. <laughs> that's what I'm liter- saying. Like, like you know, as somebody coming from Oakland, oh. I can I can be in different cities out here. And I'm literally like, oh, okay, this is 
this can't be a bad neighborhood. Like, it can't be stuff going on here because, yeah, to me... It's stuff going on in Gang Carson. areas or bad areas, it looked like it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you knew when you were in bad parts of Oakland, you know when you're in a good part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's very simple, cut and dry, you know what I mean? But out here, not the case. You know, <laughs> homeowners, you know, they grandchildren banging, I guess. Yeah, it's a lot of that. I mean, you look at Carson. Uh, I can speak from, you know, my, my upbringing. Like, it's, it's a quiet town. A lot of old old people, old money, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, people that got money moved from Compton, moved up. But niggas that moved from Compton moved up into Carson. <laughs> and so you still have that mentality and you pass that down to the generations. And it's, it's just everywhere, no matter what. I mean, I'm sure that they got gangs in Hollywood. Yeah, because I know when I went home for the holidays, I was surprised to hear all the stories that was going on in my neighborhood or my city, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Antioch. Like me and my mom, we were on the <clears throat> on the floor, and she was like over by the Bay Point uh, uh-huh. bar station, and she told me about the shooting right in the middle of the freeway, in the middle of the traffic. Somebody just started shooting at people in the middle of traffic on the freeway. That's mm-hmm. crazy. I'm like, that's crazy. And that's our world now. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and and the worst part about it is that sometimes we become desensitized to it. So it's almost like, oh, yeah, somebody just got shot. Like, whatever. Oh, another person got killed by the police. Whatever. Oh, people die. Whatever. But, like, it should never be that way. You know what I mean? So when you have, you know, young men like yourself who... Because I don't... Let me just ask you, since you're here, Mm -hmm. right? What was your main reason for getting into, like, gang life? Um, I say it's cause, like, so my my father he was there he was he was in and out of my life, but he was out he was out at the time like you know I really needed him like you know around them teenage years yeah, yeah. so Looking you for know, identity yeah so yeah I went in the streets and it felt like family like they cared about me you know so you know, and, and then you know you that's around the time you and your mom's going through it too so. Pure <laughs> <laughs> on me so yeah, I, I, I was in the streets and I just felt like family like mm-hmm. so I I see I see the reason why people you know drift to the streets cause they wanna find like identity mm-hmm. identity yeah mm-hmm. looking for a family a home that's away from home type shit yeah I mean I and it and it's not like it's a bad thing I mean cause we all go through it we're all humans I'm sure you at some point had some identity search it wasn't like you was going mm-hmm. towards gangs but Mm-mm. there was something that I have a street life mm. I'm just mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 why y'all gonna laugh <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just laughing, I'm just mad that everybody in here laughed hey, Chris I was you didn't laugh you got my back cause Chris ain't paying attention you talking to this woman <laughs> Hey, you, you, <laughs> anyway, you from Oakland, though? I, I believe it. Mm. She said I had a street lot, but what what I'm saying is, is that you there was something that that you were searching for, or there was a, mo- a moment in your life when you were searching for an identity, and you may have found that in the church. She's heavy mm. in the church. It's not a bad thing, mm-hmm. but um, like someone to look, something to look up to, something to, you know, yeah, like so a role to, model. Like, I just looked up to the wrong ones. Hey, wait, 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 Oh. Or like I, I'm, I'm assuming I don't know. Somebody asked me. Maybe this person you. wants to know what's your writing process. So do you oh. get a beat first, or do you write your song and then put a beat to it? The, the beat, the beat first, because if you got the beat, you know, you know what pockets to hit. Mm-hmm. You know how to, you know, um, do the melody. Yeah. So the the beat definitely. And what is your inspiration? What is my inspiration? What is my inspiration? Um, I'm gonna I'm I'm quote a lyric, you know, uh, put my mama in a bigger home, you know. My inspiration, just and um, my inspiration and uh, damn, what's my inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. 
Yeah, you, you say, are you saying like what inspired me? Uh huh. Like, what's your why? Why do you do? When why you, do I do you, it? Oh, oh, I wanna um, I wanna inspire people. I like to motivate people mm-hmm. to to keep pushing. Okay. To move forward from their circumstance or don't don't um don't settle. Don't settle. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I, I mean, I like that. I mean, it's it's like I was telling you about um. Uh, Ryan Lucas, one of our, our other artists, like he has a real, um, it's it's a little bit deeper. It, it, I'm not not saying that yours is not deep, right. but but um, he has a real like dope pro black um, uplifting message to where he's like everybody, be it black male or black female, we are kings and queens, we're royalty, and that's how he yeah. wants. He in his lyrics, he he gets you to think like, okay, well maybe I should be thinking about myself in in that regard, yeah. um, so that I can carry myself a little bit higher. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Get, carry myself with a little bit more self esteem. Okay. Um, so that's that's those that type of like when you ask me what type of music you listen to, mm-hmm. that right there would be my favorite type of music. Something that is motivational and, and, and inspirational. So something like what you do. Hey, <laughs> you know me. what I'm saying? So I'll be listening to you. Um, after, well, today, tonight, actually, when At, we get to these tracks. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I was going through the list of your songs here, and one one stuck out to me. Uh, Love me for me. Love me for me. Yeah, tell us about that song. I oh. think I want to play that. Okay, okay. Uh, Love me for me. Well, I was I was in a relationship, and um, I felt like. I felt like the person I was with didn't really um, love me for me. Like, I always felt like I wasn't good enough, you know? Um, so I made the song Love Me For Me. Like, I can't be nobody else. And, um... Are we about to hear it? Yeah, we're gonna hear good. it. Good. Oh, wait, that, that, that's, that's gonna be the first one you play? <laughs> yeah, if that's cool, you got another one more. All right. Can we run, can we run one before that? Because first impression, everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's cool? Uh... What was the name of that one again? The, the one that I want to run? Oh, um, All or Nothing. Oh, that's, that, this, the, this is the intro track to the um, Dorm Flow 2. And I feel like it um, it, it represent, yeah, set the tone and represent me very well. And then I, I fuck with Love Me For Me too. Like, no shade to that one. The first impression, everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's All or Nothing, C5. It's all or nothing, baby Cause if it ain't that, then no, it's all for nothing yeah, yeah. Oh, no. It's all or nothing, baby Cause if it ain't that, then no, it's all for nothing uh, Ballin' on the budget, so it's all or nothing To the schoolhouse, started from the corner thuggin' Every time I spotted cops, I had to warn a brother Now I'm tryna score an intern at Warner Brothers I'm from the ice, head from Berkeley, that's my border brother I'll squeeze a 40 for you, brother Blow had to blow, I caught my first quarter from him And then I got a half like the third quarter coming for the money But that was then, though, no. look at me now I ain't talking county jail when they booking me now MSA tip, running for the president, nigga Dollar world going up, and we never descending Listen, my mama said you gotta give it your all Ain't no limit at all, keep these women in all If you genuine and loyal, I can get you involved Came a long way from the 45th in my drawers You know, you know, you know, you know. You know. Uh, It's all or nothing, baby Cause if it ain't that, then it was all for nothing, baby Yeah, yeah It's all or nothing, baby Cause if it ain't that, then it was all for nothing uh, I've been grinding, feel like I ain't slept in eight days It's all or nothing, girl, you got me on the same page Cause in this day and age, fucking nine to five I'ma make a way, I ain't trying to make a way She's John Dillinger, I'm trying to break the bank Never slack, she got the nerve to get mad that I ain't text her back Not that the sex was whack or the hair was weak I just ain't really had no time to have sex and sleep No, no, we can quickie, girl, we can get a quickie don't be kissing on my neck if you be giving hickeys Got videos of shooting, I got business in the city And answer cause a nigga busy I know you see me, yo When they told you I was special, not remedial It's C5 from the Figaro 
I used to sling the goat, now I be the hope. I'm trying to ball, Steph Curry with the finger rope. Oh. Nigga. Nigga. It's all or nothing, baby. Cause if it ain't that, then it was all for nothing. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's all or nothing, baby Cause if it ain't that, then it was all for nothing All for nothing Yo, yo, my mind say I'm too sensitive, my girl say I'm too defensive Every time they say that shit, I get sensitive and defensive Keep it short, my pops, cause that nigga too pessimistic I can't be no different, girl, love me for me I would try to work it out with you, but I've been working on me Might look like I got it figured out, but it's problems that you can't see If I keep pulling out too late, I'll fuck around and be a father My mom's keep trying to holler, what you gonna do when you out of college? I ain't really trying to think about it, let's talk about it later Call my shorty over, and forget it for an occasion But I can't run from it, someday I gotta face it I just still keep praying, and I hope I'm gonna make it Nah, never girl, tell me what it's gonna be Why you putting this pressure on me? Cause I can't be nobody else So girl, won't you love me for me? Yeah, love me for me Girl, won't you love me for me? Cause I can't be nobody else So girl, won't yeah. you love me for me? Love me for me, not for what I'ma be, yeah She's seeking my heart, but it's under my sleeve, girl I got issues of trust from some things that I've done I wonder how many girls I passed up who could have been the one I thought it was cool at the time To keep me a few at a time But now I realize when I'm looking back I was too out of line And I can't take it back but I live and learn And I've grown up to it Can't blame you or nobody else I gotta own up to it And even though I was wildin' out Need a girl who accept me and don't judge me for my body count Need a girl who can keep it one and respect me when I'm not around Can't be trippin' on my old hoes Support is a must but you gotta have your own goals Gotta stand on your own toes Need a girl who don't need a man But she gotta have faith in me I could be everything I think I am She ain't sweating what I don't do She know I'm doing anything I can Cause when it come down to it Everything I'm not made me everything I am So love me for me girl Nah never girl Tell me what it's gonna be Why you putting this pressure on me Cause I can't be nobody else So girl won't you love me for me Yeah, love me for me Girl won't you love me for me Cause I can't be nobody else So girl won't you love me for me Nah never girl tell me what it's gonna be Why you putting this pressure on me Cause I can't be nobody else So girl won't you love me for me Yeah Love me for me Love me for me Girl won't you love me for me Cause I can't be nobody else So girl won't you love me for me No, I like that too. So you you got hurt on that song. No, nah, I, I didn't get hurt. I was it was more so like I was uh yo frustrated. No, yeah. no, nah, 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 nah. that's how I was. I was I more so that. like like embrace <laughs> embracing my flaws, you know, like love me for me and um like this is the only person I could be. Okay. So like to to is you, tell me what it's going to be. Like is you going to set me for me or you know. Yeah. And what did she say? 
What, what you mean? What did she? I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> did she I didn't actually you? come. And nah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I made it's it. Really not about nobody. You was just nah. It, no, no, it was. Nah, that, uh, my last relationship okay. was inspired it because I always felt like I wasn't. I wasn't good enough. Okay. Now me. is this something that she said or? Like little stuff, she, like she would say. Yeah. Uh, don't they do that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Little, little, little stuff. She <laughs> don't, don't. You know that you can. Y'all, y'all do that on purpose. You find that you you find what's gonna hurt us the most, because you know what's gonna hurt us the most, because you spend the most time with us, and then you go for the jugular. It may, it may not have even been uh, intentionally. Maybe she just didn't know how to love me. You know. Mm. What are your takes on that? Are women <laughs> out here not knowing how to love? <laughs> um. Since you're the only female in the room at right. the time. No, no, no. I, I, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm leaving you hanging. <laughs> Jesus! Violence and abuse. Um, Stop the violence. That is, that is very possible. Um, but I'm, I'm just curious um, to know, like, kind of, if it was something she said or something she implied or something that she did, and then your response kind of to it. Oh, um... Yeah, like I said, she'd probably like like say or um, yeah say little stuff, but it w- it would be probably she wasn't even conscious of it or she what didn't would know. Accepting you look like loving C five for C five. What would that look like? Like just, just support me. Like, I'm all about support and um, support me in whatever I do and loyalty. Um, yeah, support and loyalty. That's like that's like key for me. Not that she wasn't loyal, but I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, yeah, just be there for me. Um, accept me for my flaws, you know. I have like, oh, oh, yeah, accept my past. Yeah, don't my past shouldn't be a problem, you know, in our with our future. Mm-hmm. You, you get me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What were you about to say? Now? I was gonna ask you, did she support your music? Um, yeah. She did. <laughs> she did. But, but yeah, no, nah, she for sure did. She for sure did. Yeah. I mean, you know, because some some women, because they see you on your grind, um, or because they may see their man on their grind, whatever the case may be, yeah. some may take um, a negative approach to that. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're not spending enough time with me. Why are you always at the studio? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, stuff that was like definitely that. a problem. Oh well, see there you go. Yeah. I mean, but it's kind of like you got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like you gotta you, They just gotta chill Because it's like Would you rather Would you rather him be at home laid up under you Or you know would you rather Would she rather you be laid up under her And not doing nothing And yeah. not, not striving to be something great You know what I'm saying It's kind of like a catch 22 Because if you was to go and just be with her all the damn time mm-hmm. You're gonna be making no music You ain't gonna exactly. be making no money And then she's gonna why you don't take me nowhere? Why are we always in the house? It's never, you know, yeah. never satisfied. So, and that's why I had to get out of it because that's that's what it came down to. Like, that's all I was doing, just being with her, and I wasn't, I wasn't getting nothing done. Focusing. I wasn't growing. Yeah. So, that's the reason why that ended. But yeah. So enough about her. <laughs> She's passed. Um, what, in regards to your music, do you want to tackle next? Like, what's your next biggest goal in regards to your music and my next biggest goal mm. or your next goal period it don't gotta be nothing big but, but what's your next I mean you dropped your you know you dropped your new album mm-hmm. not that we wanna hurry up and you know go past this one but you, you worried about your future so what's what, uh-huh. what do you first see in your future in regards to your music oh um definitely working on the next one right now and like being being prominent, mm-hmm. like get my music to the the masses. Do you have shows like any like big shows lined up or mm, or like, like the like moment showcase? Yeah, um, not not nothing right now, but um, I just got done doing like I did like three shows in the past like two months. I did like two two at Dominguez and then one at El Camino, mm-hmm. and I, I've I've opened for artists like Casey Veggies, mm-hmm. um, Nipsey so. Hussle. I don't know if you know Boogie from Compton. Uh, oh, oh no, my, oh uh, no, my yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My, my little, br- I got a twenty year old brother. He he be putting me up on game about Boogie. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, Boogie hard, Boogie hard, and I work close I with. Think he yeah, may know him. I think he may know them. 
Oh yeah. Like like know that camp. Um, but yeah, yeah, I've I've heard some stuff about Boogie. Yeah, his um his producer, me and him, that's like my big bro, and uh, he he worked on uh, the Dorm Flow Two with me. He um associate producer on it. So that's what's up. Him and um yeah, I mean just being prominent, man. Like get my music to the masses. Like blow blow up. That's 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 the plan. Mm-hmm. Be signed before um I graduate. Have okay. you um have you collabed with any? Like local artists down here, outside, I mean, not the ones that you've opened up for, but do mm. you, are you looking to collab, or are you like more like a you want to do your own stuff, be on your you know whole solo album? Yeah. Um. Well, well, in this one, I didn't have no features, so it was all me. But um, I'm I'm open to I'm open to features though. If I if I feel the song, and if it, it makes sense, yeah. like I'm always down for the feature. Yeah. But yeah, it got yeah, it got to make sense though. I just did a collab with um, Reason. I don't know if you heard of him. Reason, he, yeah. Uh, are you heard of him? He's from Carson. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's right. That's the right. Twins. Huh? Prentice. Prentice. Robert and Prentice. Well, that's his real name. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that's his government. That's his, my my bad. But yeah, I, I've seen them. Like I've, I know them since they grow up. Oh word, word. I know the family will. Oh, uh, dope, dope, <laughs> dope. <laughs> Small world. Right. But yeah, um, I just did a collab with him. He, he sent me something over and um. I felt it, and like like I said, if if I could feel it, like I, I'm I'm down to hop on it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I shot you that too. Know a lot of a lot of folks, I, I know. You're what Davy Two G? Nah, see uh, see, I don't really know too many Carson people. I know a lot of Compton. Dominguez. Oh, you from Compton? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Compton, so. yeah. yeah. One of them sees. Nah. Wah wah wah. Um, you have more questions for our I do guests? have a question for you because we ask a lot of our guests this. Um, we probably haven't asked the question in a while, but prepare yourself for this. The question is coming. Are you ready? Yeah, you yeah, ready? yeah, yeah ready? I'm ready. Do you believe in love at first sight? Do I believe in love at first sight? Mm. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, and no. I feel like you can know at first sight that you're going to love that person. And you gonna make you gonna make her yours type shit, but love like oh I'm in love with you already at first sight nah. It's funny that you say that. I actually got a song where I um I, I, I say something about love at first sight. That's funny that you say that, but nah I don't believe I'm, it. I'm on it. Yeah, hey, that's what's up. Keep, keep them coming. Keep them coming. Keep me on it. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut gallery, be quiet. Why do, uh, do you believe in love at first sight? No, I don't. No. No, I don't. I was on the fence as well. Yeah. I was more on the yes side, but um, it, it was yes and no. So I mean, I, it's I understand how you say you, and it's deep because you you say you know from that moment that it's kind of like I want to treat this person right. Yeah. I'm, I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna treat this person right. So that's where I guess for for men. Uh huh. And I don't know how men how women you know equate those first appearances, but for like a man because. Uh-huh. We are who we are, and you know we can we can go through a lot. It's kind of like, mm-hmm. yeah, I see that person. I want to treat her right. So that that is sort of like a, a love feeling at first sight for a man. Like, yeah, I want to do right by her. Yeah. Because we don't always have that that first thought. It's like, oh, I want to get them draws. Yeah. That ass. And then, you know, look yeah. at them legs. Oh yeah, <laughs> see, yeah, there you go right there. So there you go right there. Those those are the thoughts where it's kind of like, okay, yeah, she may be cool, but. I know what I want from her, but yeah. when you when you see someone, you be like, oh yeah, I want, I, I think I want to treat her right. Like I, I want to do right by her. Yeah. That's the one that you. That's that love at first sight. Yeah, because I got I got I got like I got real good judgment. Like I can see a girl, and I can know like what she about mm. just from like how she carry herself, and um, if I like the way she carry herself, like if I if it's if it's like if it's not lust, you know. That's when I know, like, um, like she got potential, you know, and I can just when see that from first sight. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, got it. When I'm not, you know, when I'm not lusting, that's how you know it's real. Like, oh, okay. I mean, sometimes I'm wrong, you know, by first sight, but most of the time, I'm, I'm, I'm right. Okay, so you're a young man in college, you know, you're, um, you're a, a, a musician, vocalist, hip hop artist. Um, what then are you attracted to? As far as you know, women. Women. Yeah. Oh, she um she gotta have goals, ambitious, 
you know, her grind gotta kind of match mine in a way. Because if if I'm busy all the time or if I'm doing all these things and she's not, it's gonna be conflict. Like, oh, you know, why why can't we spend time together? But if she on her grind just like I am, she gonna understand like what I'm trying to do and accomplish. But yeah, she definitely gotta um, you know be educated or you know just trying to get further in life. You know. Speaking of that, we did a show um, while back. <clears throat> the five love languages. Have you heard the? Nah, no, nah, I haven't heard it. Okay. Um, I think it was quality time. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the only one I remember right <laughs> now. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. So it's quality Acts of time, service, Acts words of <laughs> affirmation, affection, and um, gifts. And gifts. Those are the five. Wait, say, so, wait, say it again, one more time. We have gift giving. Okay. Acts of service. So it's like doing nice things for. Okay. You. Um, spending quality time. Uh huh. Um, words of affirmation. Words of affirmation or f- touch, physical touch. I think that was another one too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was um, So in regards, I guess he was going with what's your love language? Oh, what's your? Uh, all those five will be your number one. Like if you know the way that you show love, show love to uh, your yeah. or oh, the way that I communicate should. love <laughs> in in regards to love language to your mate. All right, all right, all right. Go, go go through them one more time. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, we have. Uh, Acts gifts. of kindness. Act, okay. okay. Gift right. giving. So, um, just to kind of give you a little bit, um, acts of kindness might be like you like to, you know, your girl, you know, is busy and she came home and you like made her food or something. Oh, you brought her food you. to work because you knew she was going to be busy that day. That'd be more of acts of service. All right, gotcha. Um, quality time is obviously time that's spent without cell phones, um, yeah, just laying on the couch is. and, you know, <laughs> it's cool. Um, words of affirmation so you always constantly are affirming her telling her you love her telling her she's beautiful stuff yeah. like that um, see you shouldn't have cut me off Which gift, touch? Giving. <laughs> uh, gift, gift giving gift giving alright giving gifts all the time or a touch affection hugs and kisses and holding hands and rubbing and all that stuff mm, the uh, and which one do I use yes. yeah. probably words of affirmation so if you like, you can go, not like they sponsor us, but it's mm-hmm. a really cool test. It's uh, fivelovelanguages.com yeah. to like actually test and see what your Which love language is. You got to put in like your birthday or something like that. No, nah, they ask you questions. And uh, yeah, too. they ask you a series of questions that deal with those different areas. Mm-hmm. And then you find out like um, how you um, actually receive love and yeah. the way that you show love. Okay, I got you. You know, because if somebody doesn't really know your love language or maybe they're using their love language, then you might have that off time, right? Because mm-hmm. she wants to spend, we'll use your example, she wants to spend quality time, but you're like, like I, it's not that I don't love you, I'm telling you, like, I'm about to go to the studio, yeah, yeah. I love you, I appreciate you, you're beautiful, you're, you know, showing those things, but she's like, no, because her love language is quality time. Well, okay, you know I got what you, I mean? I so you. that's kind of how that breaks down. And it teaches people how to interact with varying love languages. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but what's big for me, too, like, I need a girl who can uh, inspire me as well, mm-hmm. you know? Inspire me, support, you know, and be, be loyal, loyal to me. That loyalty, huh? That loyalty <laughs> is real. Loyalty. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta have Period. It. Mm-hmm. Who? I had a question. If there was anyone you want to perform with, who would it be? Anybody I could perform with? Yeah. Living or dead. I just wanted nah, to I, throw that part in. I got <laughs> living God. or dead. Uh, um, perform with. Because you know they have holograms now, so. I, you don't. I'd probably say, I'd probably say like Drake, probably. Would you work with them too? For sure. Like, nah, he's going to turn Drake down. Like, Drake, <laughs> you, you can't call me on my cell phone. <laughs> yeah, he an artist I really, I really look up to in the game. Um. Yeah, probably probably one of my favorite right now. What's it about uh, Drake that um, connects with you? He um like, he he keep it real. He real vulnerable in his songs. You know, like you you can't be you can't be hard in every single song. You know, and he um he showed that the other side of him, and also um like he he appealed to everybody. 
Like Yeah he's universal he, He's universal yeah, He's universal Exactly like that's, that's one thing That I do appreciate About Drake Is that he is universal But um, Yeah The the emotional hey. <laughs> The emotional rap Yeah I mean I, th- I guess that's in right now Cause everybody If you look at all The new artists You have um, People that are just In their feelings Mm. And it's okay to be in your feelings, you know. That, that, that's gonna connect. With, <laughs> for real, that's gonna connect. I mean, with people. That's, that's, that's how you pull at, at, at their emotional strings and, mm. and draw them in. Like, like uh, the "Love Me for Me" joint. I was, I was kind of insecure about that song because I really like put it all out there. But some dudes feel like that. Bro, I, I, I thought, I thought, I thought more females was gonna feel that song. But it was a lot of dudes who like be slapping that song, sending yeah, it to see, me on the snap. Let and, me tell you. <laughs> Y'all Negroes be trying to act like y'all don't have feelings and emotions. Mm. Men oftentimes are way more sensitive than women. We know that women are sensitive, Mm. but but the little smallest things will turn a man upside down. Whereas a woman, maybe because she's used to it, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's, it, it won't upset her world in that way. She might cry about it and, and, and then people are like, oh, you're just so sensitive because you're crying. But it's like, y'all, y'all be... And I, and, I, and I said that like that's, that's what I was saying I was embracing my flaws I said in the song uh, My mom say I'm too sensitive My girl say I'm too defensive Every time they say that shit I get sensitive and defensive So Like I, I Embrace there that flaw is. Yeah right It's there. real well But said. If they wouldn't <laughs> say it It wouldn't be in your mind Thinking it And you wouldn't have said it like that I mean true but but them but, them, uh, but so, them saying that going back to it y'all gotta watch what y'all say no but it no nah, but y'all gotta watch what y'all no. say well, hold it on, inspire no. growth and it self reflection yeah, because because sensitive could be bad sometimes I'm though. not saying that it's a bad thing but there's a way to convey that message now I'm not talking about you and your mama but you and your yeah. girl y'all may have gotten into an argument and that may have ensued that comment. Whereas y'all could have been talking about, you know, just whatever on a random day over right. some lunch. And she said, you know what, babe? Well, one day you was acting kind of, you know, blah, 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 blah. Now, you would take that a little bit differently, but now would you? Oh, yeah, yeah. You would receive that message from her in a different light of how she conveyed the message. Yeah. That's it usually come out. About. It usually come out when... In regards to that. And it's not that he shouldn't be told that. It's, it's a tactful way to tell somebody these things. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I want to. I want to hear what's wrong with me. Like, I. I think everybody or, or I wants. To work on. I think everybody needs to hear it. Sure. Some people don't want to, mm-hmm. but in 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 order for humans to grow, we have to hear those harsh truths about exactly. us. Exactly. So that so that we. But there's a way to the, to convey those harsh truths yes. as well. You don't. And that goes both ways. There's tact yeah, on both do. ends, and yeah. I'm certain. That if anybody has said anything to you in any way, that it was it was sent. The way that it was <laughs> sent. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> That's real though. So, do we have it's more? You, um, we got more songs to to preview. Um, yeah. Well, I want to take one more break and then okay. we could close out with uh, one of the songs. Yeah, for sure. Because um, I have another song here from. Um, a friend who sent me a song. I shared it with Tequila. Um, it's a friend from the Bay. We used to sing in the choir together back in high school. Man, I'm gonna start bringing all my Carson homies. Do what you guys do. <laughs> Everybody we from, from Dominguez. Uh, her, her name is uh, Andrea Richardson. Love and, this song. Uh, it's called Guarded. She go to Dominguez? No. no. <laughs> oh, I thought. I thought. <laughs> poker face it's been dark for a while now let me explain my feelings and emotions are oceans away from me and my heart is the color of deep dark blue sea but i know i I could could love you i know i could I know I could, I could, could really, really love you. 
I better be glad that I can't really sing, sing like that. Because I would just start singing. I'd be singing all the time. If I had a voice, I would be singing. What you know about it? What are you using right now? <laughs> okay, that's a speaking <laughs> voice. But you have Come a voice. Come on now. I'm talking about... I'll Can she sing? <laughs> she's singing. Yeah, she's singing. I'll be hearing her. Anyway. Um, just scared. That song made me think of a question for you. C5. Because it was talking about being guarded. I know you were talking about love you for you and all that you are and take you as you are and right. all that stuff. On the music side, what are some of your musical fears? And do you feel as though uh, you've truly exposed yourself through your music or are you still holding some stuff back? Uh, I, I think I'm, I'm pretty out there on this album. Like, I, I pretty much gave gave the world all of me. So, um, damn, is there anything else that I haven't exposed? I mean, um, no, nah, I don't think I'm, I'm, I ain't hiding nothing. Like, I, I really put it all in the music. So, if you want to know anything about me that you don't know, like, it's, it's all in the music. So, um. <laughs> Did I answer your question? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, I two you. parts. So, do you have any, like, musical fears? Oh, yeah. What you meant by that? Like, you know... Okay, so I'll give you an example. I am an author now. I can call myself an author now because okay. I published my first book. But 
to release it to the people is a fear of mine because it's like I wrote it it's mm. like I love it you know what I mean but then you have to like let that go to everyone else for them to receive it so like that is a just a writing fear of mine like actually mm. letting it go to let other people enjoy it and I know um, like for some musical artists it may not be the release in the music mm. but it might be um, the way that it's done for example the persona or the person that you are yeah letting that out might, could be you know a fear because you're going to be who you are regardless and you're you're probably very confident in that mm. but there may be some fears in that way um it might be fears like um you might fear not being good enough you know for mm. the industry or i know you have the goal of getting signed you know by the time you graduate which i assume is in may yeah, man. We're in February, man. you know. Mm. Uh, is there a fear of not, if that doesn't happen, like, you get what I'm saying? So just, I'm just trying to give you ideas. I'm not trying to put fear in you. Oh, no, yeah, because it you, might not be any there at all, but. Yeah. Um, as far as far as releasing the music, I wouldn't say fear. Sometimes I may be a little insecure about the song. You know, maybe I did divulge a lot of, about me in that song that nobody you know really knows so maybe sometimes insecure about it or you know how are they gonna take this but um i'm pretty not not too many fears with that but uh as far as what you were saying getting signed um nah i don't, I don't got no fear because i feel like if i got if i got fear i'm doubting myself you know and um, I feel I, I really believe and um you know see it believe it act on it so you, you know you gotta you gotta believe it mm -hmm. First, you know, if you don't believe it, nobody gonna believe it. And do you feel like getting signed is the best option? You know, opposed to just releasing your music independent, independently. And I, I just say that because I know some major artists now mm -hmm. um, are actually trying to step away from the larger labels to release music on their own because they'll be able to have more control yeah, over how right. the music is released, when it's released. You know, videos, tours, all that stuff. Um, that's that's real. That's real. Um, as far as independent, I feel like you can only get so far. You know, like I feel like. Well, I don't know. I I would. I don't mean to cut you off. I have. Oh, no, you good. You I good. have to stop you there because you look at somebody like a currency who's been independent pretty much all of his career. Yeah, true. Now he's grinded for the times that he's grinded. And yeah. He's been, I mean, he was around Wang in the squad up era. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So he's p kind of paid his dues. I'm not sure. You know, if you want to be rapping for that long, but mm -hmm. I mean, he has a good formula and never. I don't think the only person that he did really sign to. Um, if it wasn't for Wayne was um, Damon named Dash mm -hmm. so and I think it, that was kind of like a partnership type of thing so I mean you the independent route for some people if you oh, yeah. you know if you if you built your brand and you you got your fan base yeah okay. not nah, for sure he for sure got a, a, a big Huge. core yeah a big <laughs> core fan base you know? but is he a is he a soup would you say he's a superstar like in my in, in my opinion, can you go anywhere? Ask somebody who don't listen to hip hop who yes, so they that's know your currencies. Goal. Yeah, I'm I trying think. to like be her like like Drake. Everybody know who Drake is. He's everywhere. Um, commercials. I'm trying to do all that. Like not okay. just not just limit myself to rap. You know, I'm, commercials. Uh, trying to get into act, some acting. <laughs> yeah, for real, acting. Well, I feel like I'm a good. I feel like I'm a good actor, huh? Yeah, he started with the acting. Which Currency? Is a good, no, Drake. Drake. Oh yeah, Drake. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, on me, on me. You what can't that, just limit uh, to your, yourself to. Uh, yeah, I mean, so that's kind of where he, on there after I where he got his um, mm -hmm. his other fan base, and then crossed over, and then people were kind of like, oh, well, this nigga it can rap. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, let me take it, take a listen, but. I think in, in order to answer your question, um, going back to currency, I think that if you go anywhere in the major cities right now mm -hmm. within the United States, and that for me um, is enough to say that I can go to any major city mm -hmm. 
and somebody will know about currency or he'll have a fan base in those major you know i mean and you look major cities california um the south texas alabama you know um, mm-hmm. georgia alabama all of that florida yeah um up up to new york all of that mm-hmm. and then i know for a fact that he has a midwest um, nah, following he, he, it as he well owned, You know yeah. what I'm saying So I mean you, sure. Yeah I would I would say that Yeah he I'm not gonna say that He's a Jay Z Yeah He's not a He's not See, a, I'm trying to get to that level. Not a P You know but Look at All of the steps That he's made as well You know what nah, I'm saying sure And, and all, the, all the dudes That Jay has paid You know Yeah um, But yeah I would say that currency Is, is up there yeah, He But he remains there because he has his independent stature. It's kind of like, I haven't sold out to nobody. I've been, you guys have, if you've really been rocking with me, and I'm, I'm, I've been rocking with Currency for a minute. Mm-hmm. If you've been rocking with me for that long, then you will know what I've done, how I've evolved. Mm-hmm. You've seen the stages, but you also know that I give you quality work. Yeah. So that's what people want to, they they want to hear that repeat quality work. Like I know that I'm gonna hear some some good, or I know that I'm gonna get that that authentic currency sound. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And so I guess I know that's what you're looking for. You want people to have that. They want people to. You want people to hear that C5 quality yeah. sound. Like when you hear when you when your music come on, you want people to hear that and be like, mm-hmm. oh, that's C5. On me. You know what I'm saying. I want, yeah, I want them to be heard by the masses. But I mean, you know, never sell out though. You know, to do it, do it my way. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah. so I'm gonna just put it in God's hands. You know, signed or without it, or or not, or not on a label. I want to be successful. D. <laughs> so tell everybody how they can uh, connect with you and get uh, where they can get your music from. Oh, um, Dorm Dorm Flow Two is on. Um, SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, that piff. So you can get it free. You can purchase it. I got hard copies on me. Um, and on you right now? Man, I only got one on me. Well, no, I don't got none on me today. I don't know why I didn't oh, bring On me is just your saying. No, I'm saying like on me. Like, if, if, yeah. <laughs> I say that a lot too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because she was like, I got hard copies on me. No, nah, and I was, I was saying like, like on me, like in my backpack or something like that. <laughs> but, um,. And yeah, uh, on, on Instagram, Instagram is official C5, Snapchat official C5, and then Twitter C5 Matic. And um, yeah, yes, sir. YouTube official C5. Drop just drop the video, <laughs> all or nothing music video. Go check that out. Yeah. What's up? Awesome. Go no so support. No, absolutely. Yeah, that's that's what we're all about all of this is all about yeah. making sure that you support um you know local artists independent artists people who are doing stuff in the community i mean he's in college like come on now you gotta mm. support the college student because <laughs> i know how it is man true that grind the college grind is a grind in itself and then you know on top of your hustle on top, right yeah. you know Bro, what i mean like college ain't no joke i remember but I'm not going back. <laughs> but what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Um, we were going to talk about, I think, a little bit. Uh, we ran out of time. But Kendrick Lamar, uh, Beyonce, musical artist. We'll save any that thoughts? for next. We'll save that for next. C5, any thoughts? Jesus. On Beyonce and Kendrick? Mm-hmm. I, I really respect what uh, Kendrick doing. Um, like... At the Oscars, yeah, that, that was huge. Mm. You know. Powerful I'm sh- message. I'm sure they wasn't expecting that, especially at the. Well, I mean, it was the, the Grammys. Grammys. I'm it's tripping, okay. my bad. <laughs> yeah. Oscars hasn't come yet. They probably won't be there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he he, he raising awareness for sure, for sure. And um, yeah, it, it was deep. I respect Kendrick. That's that's all I gotta say. Do you have any songs dedicated to Oakland? Any songs dedicated to Oakland? Like, you, I don't know. I, 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 I shout out Oakland, Oakland in the song. Oh, no. Nah, I'm, I'm really from Oakland. Oakland, though. You heard that? Huh? I'm really from Oakland, though. You heard that? Something uh-uh. like that? Uh. Oh, look. I, I'm the worst person to ask about any type yeah. of hip hop music. 
<laughs> you don't listen to rap music. What would you man? listen to? Uh, gospel. I listen to gospel. <laughs> I listen to R and B. I listen to neo soul. Yeah. I listen to old gospel. school. Old school gospel. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. And I don't even listen to new gospel. So if you ask me about new artists, she, it's just I'm stuck. Shirley in a, Caesar. No, I don't. Listen to her. <laughs> he don't know what I listen to. Okay, not a clue. Her. Uh, so that's good. Hilarious. Nah, she's yeah, she's eclectic. She listens to a lot of stuff. I don't know. She, yeah. And whenever I, I whenever I bring up music, she don't know. Never. Know I don't know the is. artist. But. I might have heard the song, but if music is good, I'll listen to it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If it's good music, it's good music. You can't deny that. But after a while, certain type of current hip hop music gives me a headache, and it all sounds the same. As a matter of fact, I was listening to, to some artists. And I had no clue. I tried to listen to what he was saying. And he was like, and I was, I was, I, he, who, ha, who, who, da, 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 who. Like, what are you talking about? That, that was the question I wanted to ask. Real quick. What What do you think of the state of hip hop today? State of hip hop. State of hip hop. I feel like. <laughs> Dang, uh, I feel like everybody <laughs> <laughs> hit you with the deep panel question. That uh, you in college, drop. you got it. Mm-mm. Yeah, well, basically, I mean, you know, most of it doesn't doesn't really have a message, and um, I feel like anybody can just any a- anybody is rapping nowadays. And like when people ask me who like who who do I listen to, it's really like hard to to get them like more than two artists. I only listen to like Drake, J Cole, you know, Kendrick. And then when it get there, I'll be like, shit, I can't think of nobody else because it's nobody really out there saying that. But um, it is what it is, man. You just got to you gotta get with it. But yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I respect um, the people. I, I respect all, all type of music, you know. Some say fu- some don't like Future. I like some of Future songs, you know. It's, it's different, but I respect it. Mm. Find your find your lane, basically. Yeah, I'm not a. I mean, I, like I said, I listen to the trap music, but like she said, a lot of the can't hear nothing. Yeah, it's just they giving you nice hooks or yeah. nice melodies, nice nice production. Really, I think a lot of niggas spend a lot of money on production, and then they just go in there and just rap, and get you know, yeah. sip on some lean and whatnot. But, and you can't you can't really knock it because we need different type of music for different environments. Like you, you don't want to hear a, a deep ass song at a party, you know. So true. So I mean, so so the music that's coming out. Um, I can knock it. So I don't want to hear that at a party. And we don't like it, like some deep ass. Shit? You want to hear some deep no, shit? No, 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 no. I like to hear some, like. <laughs> Groove music, you know what she I mean. She likes '90s music. That's I one. Love that's 90s that's music. what I do know about. I fuck with '90s. It's sure. the best type of music ever. Y'all listen. And I like uh, what is it? Uh, two thousand early two thousands rap. Well, that's probably because when I was in high school. Then. Yeah, like so, your Ja Rule. Ja Rule. Ja Rule. <laughs> I do like Ja Rule, but no, I love Juvenile. It's murder. <laughs> 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 no better. I, I did love Juve. <laughs> <laughs> Me, it's just, just a, it's saying. just evolving. That's just evolving. And but the shit, loonies, man. you know. I'm I got five. I smoked a blunt with this dude. <laughs> I'm. That's just random facts from right. Cameron oh, David. Oh, come on with the loonies. Oh, yeah. word. At, at at Lisa Ray at, at a party at Lisa Ray house. Oh, word, word. craziest random. random. <laughs> Almost smoked with corrupt, but. He, he just out. he just dapped me up and, and kept on pushing. <laughs> he didn't but, pass. Nah, he he didn't want to hit it. But yeah, well that's um that's a wrap for us tonight. <laughs> Hopefully everybody um enjoyed the show for tonight. We had a wonderful, awesome guest um, by the name of C Five, uh, Turo um, affiliate, <laughs> uh, Bay that? Area native. Whoop! I knew she was gonna do it. Yes, sir. <laughs> and uh, just He's all. So glad. <laughs> now, this is her street life. <laughs> that's, that's her street life right there. <laughs> nah, but um, hopefully, um, you know, you guys were. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I don't know. Hopefully, you like the show. Hopefully, it was a. Uh, hopefully, cap- y'all, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it was y'all captivating. Go. Yeah, there you right. go. <laughs> hopefully, um, you, you guys go out the and. Uh, the biggest word. Ah, the biggest word. 
hopefully y'all go out and uh, purchase um Purchase his music I was gonna say search But purchase it's, his it's music free, It's free too You know Free Well there you well, go free Whatever you wanna do Yeah I mean yeah, well, Download we, it No pressure We appreciate you bro No I appreciate y'all man Thank yeah. you for the Y'all had some good questions So yeah thank you for that Yeah we Yeah, yeah you was a good Good guest not, not too many guests Hang on with the questions For that no. Right, like, right. Yeah, they, I'm happy to be here So you know I'm gonna try to answer As thorough as I can That's what's up Well you're appreciate always that. welcome well, Always to welcome back. to come back Yes Join us in the studio I appreciate it. I know that. we're gonna listen To another song Going out right Yeah Or am I making stuff up No, no, go, ahead. no I'm not. go ahead and close this out Oh um oh, then The next song is called uh, Another Nigga I, I heard y'all talking about Like pro black And um You know giving back And just um I feel like this song Is a uh, it, it really got a message in it So yeah, another nigga, that's what I call him. Run that track. I believe in you, you can be what you want. Gotta open up your eyes and see who you are. I believe in you, you can be what you want. Gotta open up your eyes and see who you are. I believe in you, I believe in you, y'all. Gotta open up your eyes and see who you are. Heart of my city, but ain't too much love where I come from. Pray they don't slug one of my loved ones. Suckers unjust. MC Hammer, I can hit my city, come back untouched. Guess they still got love for a thug, huh? Turned dub one and I ain't locked up in prison. I've been alive all this time, but I'm finally living. I beat the stigma, and I'm not a statistic. Salute my youngins in the hood out here trying to be different. Your day is coming. Temptation at an all time high, like David Ruffin. I'm always contemplating. Playing something Was at the gas station pumping When this nigga pulled a crowbar on me Hit James like I need a 38 or something I tried to stray above it Only seemed like shit get worse He was 13 days away from his 21st Had the Q45 Now he riding in the hearse Had another candlelight Every time I hit the turf What's a nigga worth When they kill you over nothing nothing. All Peter homies Free all my cousins Trying to break the cycle But my youngest keeps it coming Damn. Gotta teach him something different You could be something bigger Than just another nigga Another nigga you don't wanna be another nigga. Another nigga. You do his life away to kill another nigga. Now they got numbers in them. Stay prop. He just another nigga. Young. 